When you think about status dogs and who might have them, it's generally the stereotype that comes to mind, isn't it? Young boys, tattoos, low socioeconomic background. Me. <laughs> EB, Arthur. I want to find out if a banned breed necessarily determines a dangerous dog. I've come to a secret location to meet some lads whose dogs have been involved in attack. If I click your fingers in the right way, it's taking your nuts off. Really? Yeah. That's the whole point of having one of these. She can jump up and attack something quite happily. So how did you teach her that? What you're holding. So she plays with this, you've taught her on this? Yeah. Come on, six. Come on. Come on. Come on. Six. I wouldn't have a dog that isn't going to be useful in a situation yeah. that might get a bit sticky. But I want to know why John wants a dog that's banned on our streets. If you go where I live in South London, well, if you don't want to walk around certain streets, yeah. certain corners, if man know you're coming around the corner and then they see this big dog head coming in as well, they, they think, think twice. Yeah, it's more I'm just trying so to get one with my defensive. Yeah. defensive. Yeah. yeah, you cannot have one of these things and think that it's there for you to use it as a weapon. That yeah. dog is there as your pet. If that dog, when you get into trouble, decides to back you, that's yeah. on that dog. Yeah, but if you pick that dog up and put it on someone, that's on you. But yeah, she's the softest little buggy you'll ever meet in your life. Do you piss me off? Growing up somewhere like this, as a young man, you do have a lot to contend with. And quite often, you have to try and uphold an image of masculinity. Um, because if you're seen as weak, then you'll get picked on. And getting picked on somewhere like this is quite different to a little bit of name calling. I do feel a little bit conflicted, you know, because to be fair, I would want my dog to protect me. But then at the same time, I don't go with my dog into biting tires and I don't have a command for him to, you know. How do people respond when they see you coming with a dog normally? They generally get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's been two years since one of John's other dogs attacked. He's keen to show he understands the dangers these dogs can pose. I mean, I walk that dog on a short leash, never let her off, don't get myself into a position where it's going to be a problem. Yeah. You know, it's responsible ownership. That's what makes a dog. Two years ago, John moved to a new home. So are you allowed to have your dogs here? No, no dogs allowed on the estate at all. So do you have to keep your dogs with friends? Yeah, I've got no other option. They're all living with families. People that don't have to worry about people banging at their door yeah. would probably find it difficult to understand well, why you... Everyone leads a different life. I mean, the areas we live in, burglaries are a daily occurrence, mm -hmm. you know? And if someone comes sneaking up and then lifts the door and then, whoa, 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 you know, your house ain't getting burgled. Yeah. Simple. <laughs> yeah. John's love for dogs definitely comes from a positive place. Um, and it's quite easy to understand why he'd want that companionship. This is what you have to take into account, is different people living different lives have different dogs for different reasons. Mm -hmm.